NASA has already set its sights on the future, less than a year after the launch of the James Webb Space Telescope. In true NASA fashion, it appears that the agency was planning way ahead. The James Webb Space Telescope represents the pinnacle of scientific achievement. It's capable of feats we've only imagined. But when it comes to astronomy, enough is never enough. We want to know every dark secret of space and see every tiny crevice in the universe's farthest reaches. As a result, the Large Ultraviolet Optical Infrared Surveyor, also known as the Lavoie, was born. This massive telescope dwarfs the JWST, which is already enormous. Origin of the Lavoie The Lavoie is still in its early stages of development and its blueprints have yet to be completed. For future large strategic science missions, NASA began considering four different telescope concepts in 2016. HABAX is a habitable exoplanet imaging mission. OST stands for the Origin Space Telescope. Last but not the least, the large ultraviolet optical infrared surveyor known as the Lavoie is linked to the Lynx X-ray Observatory. Before the four teams presented their final reports on the projects to the National Academy of Science in 2019, the telescope concepts had been in development for a number of years. Then, as part of their independent decadal survey committee, they advised NASA on which mission should be prioritized. If funded, a heavy launch vehicle would launch the Lavoie in 2039, and it would be placed in a Range 2 orbit around the Sun. Currently, the JWST is orbiting in the same area. Louvois design. The Lavoie study team must choose between two variants, one with a 15.1-meter diameter telescope mirror Louvois A, and one with an 8-meter diameter telescope mirror. Louvois B, Louvois, the High Definition Space Telescope, or HTST, would be made up of 36 mirror segments with a diameter of 15.1 meters, or more commonly known as 50 feet, and offer images up to 25 times sharper than the Hubble Space Telescope. The Louvoiré would be large enough to search for and study the dozens of Earth-like planets in our immediate vicinity. It could resolve objects, like a small galaxy's nucleus, or a gas cloud on its way to forming a star and planets. On July 6, 2015, the Association of Universities for Research in Astronomy, ORA published the first study for the HGST. The case for HDST was made in a report commissioned by AURA, which manages the Hubble Space Telescope and other observatories on behalf of NASA and the National Science Foundation. An internal coronagraph, a disk that blocks light from the central star to make a dim planet more visible, and a star shader that would float kilometers in front of it to perform the same function as the James Webb Space Telescope, Sunshield were among the original HDST proposal's ideas. Louvoiré is foldable, requiring only an 8-meter wide payload fairing. The initial cost estimates are around $10 billion, with an estimated lifetime cost of $18 to $24 billion. Lavoie B, formerly known as the Advanced Technology Large Aperture Space Telescope, also known as ATLAST, is an 8-meter wide telescope that was developed by the Space Telescope Science Institute. The Hubble Space Telescope and the James Webb Space Telescope Science Operations Center it has been designed to produce an angular resolution, five times better than the JWST, and a sensitivity limit up to 2,000 times better than the HST, despite being smaller than Louvoir A. The Louvoir study team anticipates that, as the HST, the telescope will be able to be serviced by an uncrewed spacecraft or astronauts via Orion or Starship. Cameras, for example, could potentially be replaced and returned to Earth for component analysis and future upgrades. Finally, the original acronym for the initial mission concept was, when referring to the time it took to choose a successor for HST. ATLAS itself proposed three structures. An 8-meter monolithic mirror telescope, a 16.8-meter segmented mirror telescope, and a 9.2-meter segmented mirror telescope. The current Louvois B design is based on James Webb Space Telescope blueprints, and is essentially a larger version of the JWST, which features a 6.5-meter segmented main mirror. It would use an internal coronagraph, or an external occulter if it ran on solar power. It can determine the rotation rate, climate, and habitability of an exoplanet the size of Earth in the habitable zone of long-lived stars at distances of up to 140 light-years. Thanks to the telescope, researchers would also be able to learn more about the nature of the dominant surface features, as well as changes in cloud cover and climate, as well as potential seasonal variations in surface vegetation. Lavoie B was designed to be launched on a heavy lift rocket, with a 5-meter diameter launch pairing, which is industry standard. 
Estimated lifetime costs range from $12 billion to $18 billion. Both would be able to detect light wavelengths in the ultraviolet, visible, and near-infrared ranges. Budgeting and size constraints are the main differences between the two. Lavoir A is expected to find and study 54 potentially habitable exoplanets over the course of its five-year primary mission, while Louvois B is expected to find and study 28. Louvois would be equipped with an eclipse for extreme coronagraph, for living planetary systems, an internal coronagraph instrument to allow direct observations of exoplanets that resemble Earth. For the smaller Lavoie, an external star shader is also an option. While the telescope's final blueprints have yet to be finalized, scientific instruments, such as a high-definition imager, a wide-field near-UV camera, and a near-infrared camera, are all candidates for inclusion. Light wavelengths ranging from the far ultraviolet to the near-infrared would be observed by the observatory. The Lavoie design incorporates three principles to enable the extreme wavefront stability required for coronagraphic observations of Earth-like exoplanets. The first step is to reduce vibrations and mechanical disturbances throughout the observatory. Second, both the telescope and the coronagraph use active optics to control several layers of the wavefront. To control thermal disturbances, the telescope is actively heated to a precise 270 Kelvin minus 3 degrees Celsius or 26 degrees Fahrenheit. Its mission. On August 26, 2019, the final report on the five-year Lavoie mission concept was made public. While Lavoie is still a concept, it has as its primary science goal the characterization of a wide range of exoplanets, including those that may be habitable. Another goal is to enable a wide range of astrophysics, from the reionization epoch to galaxy formation and evolution, as well as star and planet formation. It would also be possible to conduct powerful imaging and spectroscopy observations of solar system bodies. Lavoie would be a significant strategic science mission, with development expected to begin in the 2020s. The main goals of Louvoir are to study exoplanets, cosmic origins, and the solar system. The structure and composition of exoplanet atmospheres and surfaces would be analyzed by Louvois. It could also detect biosignatures produced by life in a distant exoplanet's atmosphere. CO2, molecular oxygen, and ozone, as well as water and methane, would be important atmospheric biosignatures. The multi-wavelength capability of Louvois would also be useful in understanding how a host star's ultraviolet radiation regulates atmospheric photochemistry. Louvois will also observe a large number of exoplanets, with a variety of characteristics, including mass, age, host star type, and so on. In the field of solar system research, Louvois can image Jupiter with a resolution of up to 25 km in visible light, allowing for detailed monitoring of atmospheric dynamics on Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune over long time scales. Is not that amazing? Solar system comets, asteroids, moons, and belt objects that will not be visited by spacecraft in the near future can provide crucial information on the processes that formed the solar system eons ago, thanks to sensitive high-resolution imaging inspectors. Lavoie also plays an important role in studying plumes from the outer solar system's ocean moons, particularly Europa and Enceladus, over long time scales. These missions only scratch the surface of Lavoie's capabilities. Given Lavoie's enormous size, it could theoretically see far more than the JWST. The JWST, on the other hand, can see a lot. While we may not see the Louvoir in action for a long time, it serves as an example of what could be. For a number of decades, the same symbol of the JWST was used. Despite the numerous delays, this larger-than-life telescope continues to push the envelope. Every day we knock on the universe's secret door, and it slams open just a little wider. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but in the coming years, we will learn more about the universe than our forefathers ever imagined. Perhaps 20 years after the launch of the Lavoie, you will watch this video and reflect on the time when we dared to dream, knowing that dreams are only plans for future accomplishments. What do you think of the Lavoie? Will it be a successful launch? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. We hope you enjoyed today's video, if you did, do share it with your friends. Subscribe to our channel for more content like this. See you in our next video.